Well, at this point, like we said, the debate felt like it was years ago compared to everything going on. But I just want to quote one more thing Trump said at the debate to lead us into our next story. So he attacked Biden for all his mask wearing, you know, during the pandemic and everything and said, quote, I don't wear face masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away and he shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. I wonder if he's uh, regretting saying all that and all his actions allowing COVID to spread like it has, because this week we found out Trump has coronavirus. So Donald Trump announced early Friday morning on Twitter that he and Melania tested positive for COVID-19. As of Saturday midday, he's in the Walter Reed Military Hospital for treatment. All we know at the moment is that he has, quote, moderate symptoms, which include a fever. Now, Donald Trump isn't the only person connected to the White House who has tested positive. Others include Kellyanne Conway, Hope Hicks, Chris Christie, Mike Lee, and many more. One thing a lot of these people had in common was that they were all at the Rose Garden event last Saturday, where Trump announced his Supreme Court nomination and also where masks and social distancing were almost non-existent. So based on what we know right now, which is Saturday midday, Trump's vitals since Friday have been, quote, very concerning, according to a source close to the situation. They said, quote, we're still not on a clear path to a full recovery. Oh, I mean, just when you felt the week couldn't get worse. Um, oh, yeah. I think, oh, it's just, it's so rough. Well, also, Joe Biden said that him and Gail, him and his wife tested negative for COVID. So yeah. that's great news, at least that they didn't have it. I don't know if Chris Wallace has come out negative or not because he was the moderator of the debate. But, um, I mean, first, I'm surprised he didn't catch it sooner only because he has been campaigning and doing rallies for a really long time. And a lot of the times at these rallies, he wasn't wearing masks and people around him weren't wearing masks. So I am surprised he didn't get it sooner, but also like this sucks. Like, I mean, whether you're for or against Trump, like anyone getting COVID, like it really sucks. Um, mm -hmm. And he's the president of the United States. Like this is mm -hmm. major. Um, totally. And uh, like, it's just like, I mean, this is uh, someone, well, I don't know his exact age, 74 or something, but this is someone well in his 70s who, you know, that's like the most vulnerable group. People with underlying conditions and people who are over 65 are very vulnerable to this. I mean, this is someone who's older. This is, I mean, it's just crazy. And I'm a little too concerned about um, any news about Biden getting it because you can still test false negatives like up until a certain amount of time like it's still a very high chance so I'm very nervous because I feel like they were what like 12 feet away from each other at the debate um and we're finding out now I mean there's no for sure's but as of Saturday his doctor at the Walter Reed Hospital um had a press conference and he said oh Trump's had this for like 72 hours is when he first tested positive which would have been Wednesday morning which was the day after the debate. So like we're assuming he had it at the debate. Um, Chris Wallace came out and said that like everyone was tested at the debate except for Trump and his family because they arrived too late. So they relied on quote, the honor system, which is like, ex why, like, why? Like what, <laughs> it's like, what's not clicking? Like it makes absolutely no sense. The honor so system it's from the man who refuses to wear a mask. Mm hmm. So it just absolutely everything involved is absolutely baffling. The fact that Trump probably knew and still was doing stuff on Wednesday and Thursday. The fact that they went to the debate without proper testing. I mean, all of it's absolutely mind baffling and what a week it's been and what the fuck. <laughs> yeah. And hope honestly, like me being trying to be optimistic here, like, mm -hmm. It's really shitty that he got COVID. It's really unfortunate. Like, he could die. Like, I, I, this is, like, dramatic, but he, he could die. Like, he really yeah. could, especially if the symptoms get a lot worse. And, like, it also puts into question, like, can he, is he in good condition to be president, to be in the ballot? Mm -hmm. Not just because of his fitness level, like, or his health level. Health, I can't speak. Because of his <laughs> health. Um, totally. And, like, 
hope hopefully when he gets better he just realizes that this is a really big issue and that this is serious and like you know a lot of people i think were like is this a hoax like is he just saying like he has COVID so then he can say a week later that he's fine and it wasn't a big deal but like mm -hmm. obviously this isn't a joke like at this right. point if it were a joke he wouldn't be in the hospital and if and if this were a joke which i don't think it is at this point it would be a sick joke to like do press conferences and stuff and like show how the helicopter taking to the hospital when it was a lie so like i think hopefully when this is all said and done he realizes how terrible this is and takes it seriously and like really does put in place crazy measures so that the COVID cases can come down and that people can stop dying totally i agree and i mean it, to your point too saying like we don't know how this is going to impact everything even if he doesn't die i mean i know someone who's a 25 year old she got covid um back in june she tested positive and she just did a post on instagram literally like when all this news came out and she said listen i still can't go on a light jog without being out of breath and this is someone who's 25 she said she's in perfect health like doesn't have any underlying conditions and she's still affected to this day in october and that was in june so it's just like i mean I, like this is why we're all so scared about COVID because it can affect people so much. And just the fact that, I mean, like we said, this older man just got co coronavirus. Like, even if he doesn't die, this could be detrimental to his health. Yeah, it's, 100%. It's, I mean, it's a very scary situation for him. It's, it's a scary situation just for democracy, just to see what happens yeah. next. Because, I mean, are there, I, there must be precedents for this, but I have no, like, yeah. Uh, no, this yeah. is so insane. I mean, the, the elections literally uh -huh. at the time that this episode's come out. Yeah, it's less than a month. Like, it's absolutely insane. Yeah.